All right, guys, so I'm back here with a, a third video. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna weld these two up, and I'm gonna go directly to the planishing hammer and smooth out these welds. And I could, uh, the other ones I have marked, the other panels, so we could kind of compare, but they're all going to be pretty similar. This one here, we're just going to TIG weld this one up. No hammer and dolly. I am going to use an 023 wire. 50 amps, number six on the cup, on the TIG torch, and a gas lens. Just like on the other three, or the other two, and then this one will go through the planishing. Okay, we're going to go ahead and weld, hopefully I got enough wire. And I pulsated on the pedal, just like I said in the other videos. You don't have to, it just depends your preference of welding, but this is kind of the way I do it. So we're going to weld it up and then plan to show you the So we got this. This one's welded. Obviously it's buckled just like all the other ones. Now we're going to turn you over here to the planishing hammer. And this is the one I've built in another video. I'm running two dies. Two, um, these are the flat dies because I'm trying to keep this panel flat for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to plug it in. Um, usually I use oil. Uh, my spray bottle broke so I have to get a new spray bottle. but. Usually I use, you could use WD-40, a lot of people do. Um, I know I've, I usually use transmission fluid. It's a little slicker on the surface. You don't need a lot, you just spray it. And it really glides, because sometimes these will stick. So, this will get going for a minute, but.
just pinned that pin really quick. Had to re engineer some of these pins that I bought and I forgot to put lock tight in. So this one here. pretty flat just by using the planishing hammer and it will change the shape so this one here is number three this is the first one we did number two number three I just showed you number three number two this is the one with the English wheel which is pretty flat which is pretty flat, which I can massage that one a little more on this kind of hammer as well. So I'm going to decrease my air pressure so it's less flapping. Obviously, I can decrease my height too so it's not hard to hit. So that's number two, and that one is probably going to be right on the money. No Bondo, touch it with a grinder, you could probably even hit it with the DA. This one, number one, same problem, we have a low spot over here. So what we're going to do is use the planishing hammer, make quick work of this. We're going to come in here and stretch this out. But believe it or not, this is actually probably still high. So I'm going to run over the whole panel with the punishing camera on low pressure. number one and as you can see I've got it pretty much it's still a little low there but the rest of the panel is perfect so I figured I'd show you guys this planishing the planishing method uh, there's like I said if you don't have these type of equipment at your house you could use the standard like what number one hammer and a dolly um, and after you get done, like I came over here and just beat it real quick, you could actually put it through the English wheel and smooth it as well. The English wheel, it works too. If you only have an English wheel and a hammer and a dolly, use that method. If you do have a planishing hammer, whether it's a, a mediocre one, a, you know, a Woodward Fab, Bailey, a Jet, something, something similar to this style head, uh, even an Eastwood one would work. Um, something just smooth the panel. It's going to cut your time, and doing this stuff, it'll drive you crazy if you're sitting there with a the hammer and dolly trying to make it perfect, where this actually makes it a lot quicker, a lot smoother, so you're not slapping files and stuff. We still, I still use them, but this takes a lot of hammer and dolly out of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click the link below and hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm going to clean up the shop. And I'm going to start gapping doors, the back sides of the doors on the Jaguar. And after I get the fenders all kind of modified and stuff, I'll do another video on that and the progress on that. But that one's getting close. And we've obviously got a list of people that want to come in. So you guys stay tuned and we'll have some new stuff come the new year. Stay tuned.